Hey guys, pressure mounts on UK government as reps echo our stake agents consigning EK Kurimadu's case. See what they begged for. The House of Representatives had called on the Central Criminal Court of the United Kingdom and the British government to exercise com compassion when sentencing the former Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Kweremado, his wife, Beatrice Ike Kweremado, and Dr. Obina Obeta, who is based in the UK. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always having you here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, the House of Representatives has called on the Central Criminal Court of the United States, the United Kingdom, I beg your pardon, and the British government to exercise compassion when sentencing the former Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Kweremado, his wife Beatrice Ike Kweremado, and Dr. Obina Obita, who, who is based in the UK. Furthermore, the House has requested that the Nigerian government takes necessary diplomatic measures to assist the Ike Kweremado family in this ordeal. The House has instructed its clerk, Yaya Danzaria, the, to communicate these resolutions to both the British government and the courts. It should be remembered that the Ike Kweremados and Obita were found guilty of organ trafficking on March 23rd. 2023 by the Central Criminal Court for conspiring to bring a 21-year-old boy street trader from Lagos to London to avert his kidney for Sonia Ikekwere Mado, who suffers from kidney disease. The House requested clemency following the abduction of emotion of urgent public importance entitled motion on the need for clemency for Senator Ike Kweremado by Toby Okechuku, the Deputy Majority Leader. This motion was unanimously approved. According to Okechuku, the couple's sentencing is slated for May 5th. He stated that Senator Ike Kweremado acted within the coffins of his limited knowledge of UK laws. He wrote to the UK High Commission to support the medical visa application for the potential donor and declared the purpose of the trip. Senator Ike Kweremado and Mrs. Beatrice Ashons were driven by their natural, natural parental instincts to save their healing doctor and not for any commercial gain. Nations, including the UK, often seek relief for their citizens in situations like that of the Ike Kuremado's family, which is a common practice in international relations. The House is aware of the long-standing history and positive relationship between the Nigeria and the UK. The House acknowledges that the former president Gulok Jonah eh, Gulok, I beg your pardon. The House acknowledges that the former president Olusegun Obasanjo and other other statesmen have passionately pleaded for clemency on behalf of Senator Ike Kweremado, testifying to his character as a patriotic, philanthropic, God-fearing and progressive citizen who has served Nigeria and West Africa in various leadership positions, including Deputy Speaker, Deputy President of the Senate for three terms, and Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament. The Speaker of the House, Femi Banjabiamila, appealed to the court to consider Ike Kweremado's noble art in life 
and assess him based on his entire life rather than just his lacks, the plurable art. He expressed confidence that Ike Kurimado and his wife had learned from their recent experience. Femi Banjambia Mila has requested the court to show mercy towards the Ike Kurimado's family, particularly their ailing doctor, doc, uh, doc, doc, Dr. Sonia. Similarly, Dr. Sidai Tonus, the Speaker of Parliamentary of Eco Economic Community of West African State, has also employed the UK courts to show compassion when sentencing the Ike Kure models. He urged the court to temper justice with mercy for the family. He expressed his plea in a letter addressed to the chief clerk of the Central Criminal Court, Old Berlin in London, dated April 5, 2023. Dornings provided various justifications for why the UK court should be lenient towards the Ike Kwere model. Ike Kwere model is highly appreciated in the West African sub-region and Parliament for its outstanding contributions to the development of the community a community parliament and its effort to stabilize and preserve democracy in sub-region. Furthermore, he said in regards to his daughter Sonia, I want to express that it is a common feeling among parents, particularly in Africa. Do not at leave their children. As a father, I can easily empathize with the senator and his wife as they face the pains dilemma and difficult decisions regarding the health of their ailing doctor, uh, doctor who requires a kidney transplant to have a chance of surviving and fulfilling her destiny. Who else could better foot the bills and provide the necessary emotional support for their then Senator and Mrs. Ike Kurimado is a certain that Sonia cannot survive without her parents in her current health condition. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.